Good evening and welcome back to another match. This week we're at home to Atletico Bilbao. The January transfer window has just ended. The only outgoing was post on loan our goalkeeper. Of course we've got Mandanda in there now as second choice but no other incomings. Unfortunately for this match Martinelli is on a bit of a down as is Alex Mariba. So the lineup we're going in with is Schubert in goal, Teixeira Mugdell coming in at wing backs, Kosanu and Ogbonna in defence. Herrera, Cousins, Fabio Vieira in midfield, and we've got Mudrik, Carlos Perez, and Ruben Castro up top. And it's actually been a while since we played this game. I think it's been about 10 days, 11 days, or 10 days. Um, main reason for that is Resident Evil 4 came out, the remake. Um, as I'm recording, it's the 30th of March today, so the Resident Evil game has just been out about a week now, just under a week. So I've been playing that pretty constantly. To be honest, I haven't really had much time to play games this week at all, um, besides Resident Evil 4, which I've only played for like a few hours, but really absolutely loving it. Um, but I thought it was about time I got back into to this game as well. Because uh, Resident Evil 4 is stressful. Hopefully you'll watch that. And what is Takshara doing there? Just didn't go to the ball yeah by the time you guys watch this video um, the Resident Evil 4 playthrough will be may not be over but it'll be getting sort of towards the end of the game so there'll be plenty of episodes for you guys to watch it's every Sunday I've only released the one episode so far and it was really good the second episode's due to come out um, in a couple of days my, in my time Good block. And uh, I think the second episode's even better. It's very fun. What they've done with that game is unbelievable. I wasn't really sure how it would fare. Because Resident Evil 4 is... I keep thinking, well, maybe it's not my all-time favourite game. But I think it is, because it's the game I've completed the most. And there must be a reason for that. Um, it's certainly in the top three. But it's the game I've, like I say, finished the most. I'm terrible at completing games normally. Oh... What a header that was. For a minute I thought it was an own goal. Let's have a look. Nice cross. I don't know how he got in ahead of McDowell. And that's why I thought it was an own goal. No, is it just... It's almost passed through McDowell there. Yeah, anyway, that's probably from me not concentrating um, properly. But yeah, if you haven't played Resident Evil 4 already, definitely give it a go, the remake that is. He's Teixeira on the overlap. Nice cross, but Paris can't quite get there. Mudrick in here, but was a little bit behind him. Here's Perez. Vieira. Cousins. Oh, straight at the keeper. He struck it well. Very easy for the keeper there. Castro. Oh, nice little ball to Cousins. Mudrick. 1-0. Got a little bit fortunate there. Cousins tried to play it through and it... Well, he did, but it clipped off the defender. Still made it through. Nice little ball from Castro there. See, just hit the back of the defender there. And Mudrick is only starting because Martinelli was on a bit of a down. He was on a downward orange form. But got to remember, Mudrik is such a fantastic player. When we signed him um, back in the last January, I think it was, wasn't it? He was unstoppable the first few games. And he's he's been very consistent. Not 
as great as he was in the first few games, but... Oh, Mojo Canelli in again. And I think just because we've now got such an, a great all-round team and squad, it's hard to, like, shine as brightly as an individual player, I suppose. You have to put in a really outstanding performance to... And, like, multiple times to stand out. Nice block there. Now Herrera. Bit of space here. It's not that much support, though. Again, there's just a lot of athletic Bilbao players in the way. Ugh, they could be, well, they are hitting us on the counter. Nice clearance. That was sloppy, though. And they've still got a chance here. Oh, good save. Very good save. And to be fair, they should have been back in front. <laughs> we get a bit fortunate there. Come on, we need to improve this bit because uh, we're being a bit sloppy at the moment. Come on, where's my support? Where's everyone? What's going on? Oh, that's terrible from Tech Share. That's Tech Share is well, he's played one bad terrible ball there, and earlier on in the match he let a ball go which he shouldn't have. So he's not having the best of time. And McDowell was at fault for the first goal. So the two wing backs who have come in. Decent ball from Rudrick. Just a tiny bit cl too close to the keeper. What is he doing there? And they got very lucky. Like, extremely lucky. Oh, come on, ref, man. Back to this again. Nearly off time, and um, oof. well, that would have been an even more spectacular goal from Williams. Brilliant attempt. The first goal he got, although we would, I would say, at fault for it because we should have blocked it, we should have cleared it easily. The finish from him was uh, absolutely lovely. On. Can we get a goal just before half time? Perez! And we have. <laughs> we do not deserve that at all, but lovely team goal. That pass from Castro, but the first time touch from Carlos Perez opens up his body and slams it into the, uh, the goal there. You're in a Castro, holds the ball up well, nice touch, and just opens up his body, like I said. Castro surprisingly very good at being like a, a hold up player. A target man. Which he doesn't look like because he's he's not that uh, he's not that tall. There it is, half time. Possession fairly even, and I would say that they had the better of the chances we scored two goals, but they could have had at least two, maybe three. So we're fortunate with that one. Not that I'm gonna complain, obviously. But we need to do better. Obviously, three points is always key. But, you know, I want to put in a good performance. Maybe I'm just a little bit rusty from not playing the game for a good ten days or so. But uh, I can't use that excuse, really. Nice play by Vieira. McDowell, but it's not 
really anyone in the box. Perez, oh, 2-1. And I think McDowell's made amends there. It was mainly Vieira that drove the ball forward. But then when McDowell got it, he could have just played the ball in, but he didn't. And what a spot that is. And a lovely right foot finish from Perez. Look at that ball, just bisecting about five defenders. A really calm finish. As you would expect from Perez. And that's a bit more like it. A bit more fluid. Uh, I am thinking of changing up the channel a bit. Now, by the time this comes out, I may have already made a decision... Um, so no doubt I'll have updated the channel or Twitter if I do make any changes but what I was thinking of doing or what I'm thinking of at the moment let's just get this ball clear first I said let's get this ball clear first um, currently I put out pairs almost every day of the week the only day I don't is Sunday and at the moment Resident Evil for the remake is on there as a playthrough on Sundays. Previously it was the original Resident Evil 4. After the remake of Resident Evil 4 it might be another game um, of a similar sort of vein. You know rather than a sports game a proper let's play video. But what I was thinking of doing was um, maybe doing two matches an episode. Now whether that means they're going to be twice as long. Or whether I edit them down slightly, I'm not sure. Good block there. Poor clearance though. Oh, really nice work from Vieira. And a nice pass from Mudrick. And he's through. Mudrick. Oh, it's wide, well wide. We'll make some subs now, but that was a real chance to make a four. So we're going to take off Carlos Perez, Fabio Vieira and Cousins and bring on Harrington, Arcas and Bajer. Yeah, but what I was saying was I might sort of condense two matches into one episode and maybe have like three episodes a week rather than the six. So you get the same amount of matches. So maybe like a, I don't know, a Monday, Wednesday, Friday, something like that. Arcas, oh, I was in between two players. Sunday, still keep the Resident Evil 4, or if that's already finished by the time I make changes, whatever sort of let's play video. Hang on. Oh, he's hit it wide. That should have been 3 2. Brought the keeper out well there. Let's have a look how close this was. Poor defending, but as soon as I saw that ball go through, I brought out Schubert. I think that's what did it in the end. But yeah, have a Let's Play video on the Sunday. So that would be Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Sunday. So that would leave Tuesday and Thursdays either as like days off, no videos. Or if I just fancied, you know, live streaming, I, I can put the VODs up if I've streamed on Twitch. If there's any other random games that come up that I just want to do a one-off episode or just randomly try, I can do that. Just gives me a bit more freedom, I suppose. Oh, that was poor. That was a pass, by the way. Um, I've just pre-ordered EA Sports Golf. That is coming out... When's it coming out? I think it's coming out the 10th of April. So this this match you're watching now will already be out. Uh, sorry, the game will be out by the time you watch this video. But I was thinking, you know, when games come out like that, like if I want to do a video on that, I don't have much really room at the moment unless I put two videos out a day, which I can do. That's fine. Um, hang on, here's our cast. Castro. Oh, what a finish. He had a very similar finish against Real Madrid uh, a few games back. Very powerful finish into the roof of the net. Arcas, great work. Still had a lot to do though. Left footed. Top corner. Brilliant finish. 
yeah, well, it would leave me a couple of days free to either, do you know what, I'm not going to put out a video or just a random game that's come out. Like I say, the EA Sports Golf, I'll certainly want to be doing some rounds on that on the channel. Um, that could also be a really good live stream as well because I could just play a few rounds, play different game modes, do career mode, and then upload that on the channel. Oof, wide. And I don't mind uploading two videos a day sometimes. I've done that before when I've uploaded live stream VODs. Um, but I don't want to like... I do feel like sometimes I'm oversaturating the channel with videos a little bit. Um, and the reason why I put... Hang on a minute. Nice cross. Oh, Mudrick, how did you not get on the end of that? Come on. Again, Mudrick, what are you doing? The reason why I put so many Pez videos out is, well, because I want to, but also um, because I want to get through, like, quite a lot of seasons. And if I only put out one or two videos a week, <laughs> it would take me absolutely ages to get through a season. Yeah, anyway, I'm, I'm just having a think. I don't know what the best way to do it is. But initially I'm thinking... Oh, wide again. How have they not scored more than one goal in this game? We've got, we've got away with this one today, haven't we? We have not been at our best. We've been certainly better in the second half. But again, that's just... Should have scored. But yeah, anyway... Channel-wise, my initial thoughts are we will do two matches of Pez in an episode. I will play the full matches without editing them as normal. So it will be almost twice as long. Now, the intro and the outro, I might just shorten down a bit to be fairly condensed um, as much as possible. Oh, that's a foul. Is that a penalty? Just outside the box? No, I think it's a penalty. There's an awful challenge on Bajer. He's just inside the box, isn't he there? I think we're going to have... I think we're going to have Castro take this, haven't we? On it's saved. I've said it before, but if keepers guess the right way on Pez pretty much always save it which is a bit frustrating um it's a bit overpowered the goalkeeper that's offside but yeah if i only do some um if i don't do any editing in the actual match i'll do the usual where when i'm making substitutions i edit it down uh before and after the match i'll try and keep as tight as possible maybe that's what i'm thinking but i don't really want to start editing the actual matches themselves Come on, Mudrick. That's another penalty, is it? That was a foul. It was definitely a foul. I think we've had our share of luck today, though, but um, there it is, 4-1. What a strange game. And possession-wise, almost 50-50. They had more shots. It was just... They couldn't hit the target a lot of the time. Man of the match was Perez because he got the two goals, but... I think the, the front three were very good, but it was the uh, defence in the midfield that just they made some strange decisions, some errors. We just couldn't get on top of them. But we got three points, and scoreline-wise, it looks very comfortable, but that certainly wasn't the case. And as you can see, we're eight points clear of Atletico Madrid. Next match against Getafe away, and then we've got a massive home match against Barcelona. Then in the Copa del Rey against Espanyol. Fighting on all fronts, we are looking very, very strong for the league itself. Looks like we potentially could be winners for that. I don't want to jinx or anything, but good run in the Cups as well with the European Cups and the Copa del Rey. Hit that like button, subscribe to the channel and drop a comment down below. But I'll see you all next time. Cheers.